welcome to The Breakdown, where I break down songs and then talk about their lyrical content. I could have called this literal lyrics, but that was... Oh, I should have called it that. We all know these songs, we all listen to them, but do we ever think about the lyrical content? Hashtag content. Today's song is a kid's song called Hush Little Baby. Now you know this song. Hush little baby, don't say a word, Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Who the hell buys their kid a mockingbird? What should I get them? Ah, uh, should I get them like Lego night? <laughs> mockingbird. At what point have you gone, God, my baby's talking a lot or just crying. Oh, what can I do? I know, I'll get a bird. Where would you get one? I feel like you can only get them in a jungle. Get a parrot. You know, get a budgie. Why is that the go-to? Who wrote this? Also, mockingbirds are a real thing. I just thought it was like a bird that was like sassing you about your top. Like, cute top! You look fat! And then it goes to the next lyric that goes in. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Why is the jump bird ridiculous ring. And what's a baby gonna do with a diamond ring? Babies put everything in their mouths. You give a kid a diamond ring, it's like, oh shh, be quiet, here's a diamond ring. Uh, also, who is using a diamond ring as a bargaining tool? How rich are you? Like when someone's being annoying, I don't go, if you don't be quiet, you're not gonna get that diamond ring. I'm like, if you don't be quiet, I'm gonna knife you. You know, I am from Newcastle though, so. And then it goes, and if that, uh, and if that diamond ring turns brass, Papa's gonna buy you a looking glass. Downgrade. You go have to go up. You go diamond ring yacht, not diamond ring magnifying glass. Illogical. This poor baby's like, I mean, literally just give me a piece of cardboard, I'll be quiet. Or just like nurse me, hold me. How about you just hold me and love me and stop giving me material objects? Like give me your time. Oh. <laughs> and then there's some other lyrics and it goes, Papa's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. Basic. But also, why would you buy a dog if you're trying to quieten a baby? It's making more noise. Why would the dog in this scenario make a crying situation less loud? And then it's like, Papa's gonna buy you a horse and cart. Like, don't you as a parent want your kid to have like a trustworthy vehicle? Why would you go, oh, you know what'll keep you real safe? A horse and cart. Like, get him a Ford, honestly. Like, get an escape. Hashtag fun, hashtag ad, hashtag money in the bank. <laughs> and then it goes, and if that horse and cart fall down, you'll still be the sweetest little baby in town. So after all of that, the gift is you get to be yourself. <laughs> Why does this song exist? There's no point to the song. And don't even get me started on that song that goes, Johnny works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Johnny works with one hammer, then he works with two. And then it goes, Johnny works with four hammer. How can one person operate more than two hammers? Are you using your feet? And who is Johnny? Who's supervising Johnny if Johnny's a child? When they went in to buy four hammers, were the people at Bunnings like, oh, what are you using four hammers for? And it's like, oh, I've just got to do some work around the house using my feet also. It's like, irrational. Also, what is Johnny making? Is Johnny a woman? I don't know! I need a drink. That's the end of this episode. I'll be back potentially next week. I've got to end on something like where I like seem like I'm um, nice and wholesome or something, like put like a flower or something.